Hi guys, wanted to make a quick video um, about replacing uh, the heat break in the Magician X and installing a volcano. That was my initial uh, plan. Um, right on the screen right now we can see the Magician running with the new heat break and you might notice it's not a volcano and I'll talk about why not. Then we'll talk about how to install it, uh, um, any cooling considerations and then a little test sprint and also show you uh, what I purchased from Aliexpress if in case that of that being useful so the first thing is the installation so this is how I put it in I literally just replaced the old heat break with the new metal heat break and I'll try to leave it as long as possible outside of the um, extruder this is what it looks like uh, in the instructions originally um, to install the volcano they were asking to move the fan somewhere else uh, but I decided to leave it there um, just to see what happens. Now there is a little difference here. Now when I first installed it, um, I had put the heat break in a different position and then right here is how it's actually installed on the machine. So the thermistor and the heat uh, bit is on the right hand side when you look at it from the front and that is to give space for the fan um, so that it doesn't melt. Here you can see what happens uh, when you leave the block too close uh, to the fan. Okay, so what I wanted to do as well was to run a test uh, on its own. At the beginning I was a bit worried about uh, heat creep. So I have um, installed the uh, heat break and then I have just increased the temperature to 30. Um, and then when I look at the machine, it's uh, just running without the uh, part cooling fans, which I don't need at this point. And I thought, okay, how do I test the temperature? So I just use my finger to place it on the heat brake and the heat uh, brake, yeah. And then I can see that it's actually not hot, even though uh, the block itself is at 230. Obviously, this might be different when you're printing, uh, but initial test seems to indicate that this is okay. Okay, now about the parts that uh, I purchased uh, to make this happen is the heat break is the first one there at the top. That's really all you need to change. Uh, I wanted to install the volcano, which is why I bought these other parts, but I actually bought the wrong volcano um, uh, hot end. And the reason for that is because it requires to have the space for a thermistor and I bought one that doesn't have one. So it's just a, an older system. Uh, so when you look for one, you look for a hot end volcano with uh, PT100, which is the thermistor and the space for the thermistor. Um, so that's what we are going to see. Now I also um, purchased the nozzle. So that nozzle is the third one there on the list and that's important because this nozzle has a longer neck. So it's an E3D V6. Uh, it doesn't have to be a clone HD, CHD but it needs to be um, a, a long one with a long neck. Uh, I also bought some MK8, uh, um, which were too short. So the heat uh, brake on one side and the nozzle on the other side, they don't really touch, they don't reach the ends. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, here I purchased some more uh, Volcano um, nozzles that I'm hoping to use, uh, some sleeves uh, for the heat break because the one I have is broken so I wanted to replace that but these sleeves are too big so there's actually a smaller uh, footprint uh, heat break uh, and then you need to buy the right uh, sleeves so just keep that in mind make sure you measure it I've ordered some other ones we'll see what, what they get and then here at the bottom uh, you can see the last item is the nozzles this one also says MK8 and I thought it was just the, the shape uh, at the top, the, the tip, that is a little bit different. But actually the length of the neck is different. And then that means that it won't reach the other side um, with the heat break. And then you, you want to make sure that those two close within the heat block so that there is no space for the um, filament to escape. So these ones are too short um, with the heat break that I bought. So here are the uh, pieces uh, after they arrived and what I was talking about with the Volcano um, heat block is that it doesn't have an extra hole 
for the PT um, thermistor. So there should be another hole here. So this one is not the correct one. This one uses another system where you strap a little wire here. Um, I assume it's an older version, not as accurate as having the proper thermistor. Here are the um, covers, silicone covers. These are too big for the magician heat block. I could have, I didn't measure it, so I bought the wrong ones. And then here is the um, nozzle MK8 that uh, is a bit too short. So the neck in this piece, this piece that goes inside the block, is a bit short. Uh, so it won't match with the other one, with the um, heat break on the other side. So that's something to keep in mind when you are purchasing uh, these this parts. And here is a video of the uh, printer in action after the change, um, which seems to be fine. I didn't have any issues. Uh, this print ran for about an hour uh, because I have a nozzle 0.6 and it was fine. I uh, didn't have any issues, so I'll be running some more prints, but uh, I'm pretty comfortable with this setup and I don't think it's going to be any overheating. And I think that has to do with the heat break being a bimetal heat break. Not sure if it's true, but on, on some of the uh, websites on, on AliExpress, on some of the posts, um, there was mentioned that it's a bimetal metal and therefore um, it has a heat break in between the bit that goes inside the block and the bit that is outside. I hope this has been useful. Um, let me know if you have any questions uh, and if you want to uh, go over anything specific.